From the 11th Annual St. John's Winter Bullpen Baseball Banquet, Ralph Bidnarchik on RedStormersports.com, welcoming in the 2016 American League Cy Young Award winner and our special guest tonight, Rick Porcello, who's a North Jersey product. Rick, tell us first, you got a chance to speak to the St. John's team. You were at one point at that stage as a young baseball player and a pitcher. What was your overall message to those young guys as they all listened to you intently? I think it's a combination of a couple of things. Most importantly, enjoy what they're going through right now. I, I, you know, every, everything only happens once, so uh, also to make the most of it and understand you know, the team aspect of, of what they're going to be going through this upcoming season and ways for them to be successful and hopefully they get it done on the field and wish them the best of luck. Rick Porcello is one special young man, uh, very humble, very talented, uh, but you know he's he's grounded, he's balanced, and he really really gets it. And for years I wanted Rick to speak, but you know I just wanted to leave him alone. The truth of the matter is, when Rick received the Cy Young Award, the next morning I went in to find out where he was working out because my son Ty works out the same time he does, and I went up to him. I said, "Okay, Rick, I want you to speak at my banquet." He goes, "No problem, Coach." I had the fortunate opportunity of being around Coach Blankmeyer, like you said, since I was maybe 12, 13 years old on, um, and have known him since then and known his son Ty and, and the entire family and you know being in professional baseball now and in the major leagues it's it's unbelievable how many people recognize coach Blankmeyer and, and what he does not only for St. John's but just baseball in general you know I don't think you're going to find a better baseball person around this is a great event and I couldn't be more pleased to be here with uh, St. John's and coach Blankmeyer. I just think this event just gets better and better and it's special it's special number one because of the interaction of the, of the alumni I mean, it's just fabulous to have them here. You know, our players that are eventually going to be alumni, they can feel the energy in the room. And to have, you know, these great major leaguers here, uh, you know, it's a thrill for these kids. It definitely has a huge impact on us and some of the younger guys. Um, they're able to ask some questions, get some feedback and some uh, really important advice of, that can benefit them, you know, in the future. Overall, it makes us a better team, and uh, I think it's really going to be helpful this year. I owe a lot to this program, the coaching staff, Coach Blankmeyer specifically for giving me the opportunity to play for St. John's University. Coach gave me the opportunity to perform on the field and in the classroom, which ultimately led to a few good years at the major league level and also led to me receiving my bachelor's degree in criminal justice. You know, it's the testament to Anthony Barbaro's character. You know, Anthony was such a special for a pitcher for us. To be truthful, he really, him and Craig Hansen, I have to give those two guys, they really turned our program around. Anthony would have been a first round draft pick and hurt his arm his last game of the regular season. And to persevere and get to the big leagues and play those that amount of time to want to serve and be a Port Authority police officer, what, what can I say about this guy? Being a ball player from the Northeast, there's a couple different factors that go into it and I, I think kind of maybe add to your mental toughness. Obviously the weather's one of them, you know. In high school and growing up, you're not playing on a grass field. You're, you're taking ground balls or you're throwing bullpens in an asphalt parking lot, you know. To be a product from here and, and be able to make it to the highest level and compete at the highest level is, is definitely a huge sense of pride, especially coming from, like you said, a cold weather northeast, not somewhere where you think of, of good ball players coming from, but there's good ball players everywhere here. I've had an amazing experience here at St. John's. Uh, it's been a really good four years. You know, I'm sad it's going to come to an end. <laughs> Um, I'm really just, I want to have a great year this year and really just leave everything out on the field.